will do our best this morning to try to sing. We we'll keep the tears back. We ain't gonna keep God back. But we'll do our best this morning. It's good to be here. It's good to be home. Good yeah. to see everybody. Uh, we uh, want to thank the Lord for it. Oh, thank you, brother. Uh, we want to thank the Lord for being here. Another opportunity. Amen. The minister sang the songs of Zion, minister through the word song, minister through the word here after a while. Uh, I want to thank our friends. Uh, for you don't know them. If y'all don't care, I don't mean that single yet, but if y'all would, just stand up just for a moment. I, I believe in giving roses. These are some real good friends of ours from Kentucky, Owensboro, Kentucky, and Ohio County, Kentucky. This is the pastor out of the church. Uh, yeah, I believe in giving roses when they do. Uh, the pastor of the church we go to, uh, Grace Chapel Church of God, and uh, Brother Robert Young and his brother G.H., and that's friends of ours, Rob and Anita Crisp, and uh, I really thank them for coming out and yeah. being with us, supporting us, and I want to tell this, y'all don't have to stand up. You can, you can continue to stand if you want, but you don't have to. I won't make you stand. Now, I don't want to take anything from them, but uh, we're, they, they, live, they live out in the country as well. And uh, we, we came here and we went about yesterday and drove around and uh, we went, uh, I don't know if some of y'all are familiar, you probably heard mom talk about where she was raised and stuff up on the way to Agnes Branch, about 45 minutes farther up through there. We went to Queen's Ridge Cemetery, went out to the old cemetery where my grandparents were buried out there. And, and uh, there was a, a boy that I grew up with and knew when I was young and uh, actually part of, uh, Gary's, Gary, Uncle Gary's family, actually. But uh, he had parked out away from the cemetery, from the Queen's Ridge Cemetery, and uh, he, uh, he wasn't drunk, but he had been drinking, and he came walking out the road to us, had a pistol on his side, and uh, uh, just kind of laying a little vision here, as you can picture this in your mind. They come walking down through there, and, uh, he, the first thing he said, he said, I, I parked my four-wheeler out there. He said, I've got, he said, I'm, I'm drinking a little bit, and I didn't want to come out here with that. He said, so I just walked out here. He said, I just wanted to see who was out here. And, uh, of course, if if you know Brother Robert and, and his <laughs> brother, they are uh, they are definitely on fire for God. Uh, that's all they know. And I'm saying that. That uh, long story short, they began to talk to that young man about his soul, and we ended up gathering around him, and that boy broke down on the ground there yes, and cried did. his eyes out, Amen. calling out to God. Amen. Amen. Yes, he did. And, uh, you know, uh, I felt the power of God, and I tell you, that's what's good about God, is he's everywhere. everywhere. Right. You can take him with you. Yeah. Of yeah. course, a lot of times we Amen. want to leave him at home. Oh, we God. want to just kind of uh, sit on the back seat and let everybody else, or maybe let the next fellow do the do the job that, that's at hand. But uh, we're we're time is running out, yeah. and uh, Come you know, on, we baby. need to be about Come the Father's on. business. Amen. So Come that on. young man. Uh, John Combs got saved yesterday. Yes, he did. And I watched uh, him hold Brother Robert and sit there and just cry until his whole body shook. Yes. And then he buckled and fell to his knees and cried out to God. And I tell you what, yes. that's, that's, a, got that's a good thing. Yeah. Time, time is swiftly, I, I've, I know you all heard me preach, I've said this before, but time's a funny thing. And time is running out. Come uh, on. You know, time brings forth birth and uh, time also brings forth death. And uh, it puts gray in your hair. And, and, and you know, we need to be about the Father's business. Amen. But I love the Lord this morning. And I praise His holy name. The yes. reason that we're yes. here this morning is not because it's homecoming. Yeah, it is good to see you all this morning. And I love each and every one of you. Always have and always will. But uh, we're here to lift up His holy name. We're not here because it's homecoming. Yeah, we do gather on this, this certain day that we set aside through the year. But we're here... To lift up Come the on. name of Jesus. Yes. yes. To give Thank him you, the Lord. Praise that he deserves. And if you don't know him this morning in pardon and remission of sin, you're missing out on the greatest opportunity that this life holds. And that's to know him as your Savior. I'm glad that he saved me. Thank you, I'm Lord. Glad that I knelt down somewhere and I called out to yeah. God. Come on, my and God brother. saved yes. me. Hallelujah. And he on, saw brother. something in me. Oh, and he sees oh, something in you today. And he knows exactly where you're at. Your yes, life. he does. 
says. It don't matter what you went through. You may think that you have went through something that nobody else has ever Less experienced or that nobody knows about or, or that nobody else has ever been in your shoes. Let me tell you something. Jesus knows. Yes. Jesus Amen. knows exactly where you're at. And because that he loved me, he died on the cross of Calvary. Yeah. Yeah. And all I praise his holy name. He's worthy this morning, yes, church. Yes, he is. Amen. Of all of our praise. And I'm so thankful for that this morning. You pray for us when you pray.
Mm. Well, praise Lord, the Lord. To the well, Lord. praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got a testimony this morning. We want you to testify. We don't. Uh, we're not up here just to try to entertain you or anything. We're not up here. To, we want you. We're just here to be a part. We want oh, you to testify. Thank you, Lord. 